Hi everyone, I hope your Friday is going well for you. Well, my daughter has talked me into making these Berea tacos, so I'm gonna show you all my simple way of making them and I hope you enjoy it. So here are the ingredients I'm going to use to make my red sauce that I'm gonna cook my meat in. I have some chipotles, it's just some peppers, and I'm just using a, a can of these. Now I'm not gonna use a whole can because these are spicy and my mom doesn't want it spicy. These are just uh, sweet red bell peppers, just the small ones. I have some fresh tomatoes that I cut up. I have my garlic, of course, and then I have some onion. Next, I'm gonna add my ingredients to my blender. So I have my tomatoes again. We have our onions. And you just wanna use the ingredients that you want in your sauce that you're cooking your meat in. My peppers. And I'm only gonna add a small portion of these uh, red chilies. Once you've blended your ingredients together, you should have a nice pureed uh, juice here. We're going to use this to cook our meat in. I'm going to strain this and we're going to go on to the next step. Now I have added some oil to my pan here, some vegetable oil, but you can use what you like. And then you just want to make sure you have your meat seasoned, what you're using for your tacos. I'm using oxtail today. As you can see, I already have them, you know, ready to go. I'm gonna brown them here in my Dutch pan and then we'll go to the next step. Now that I have them browned, and it only takes about three to five minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and remove them from the pan. We're gonna add in our onions and saute those for just a few minutes. And then we can go ahead and reduce our heat. I'm going to add my oxtail back to the pan. I'm going to add in some thyme, a few bay leaves. We're going to add in that beautiful puree that we made. It smells amazing. I'm going to add in some water with that. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. And I'm gonna cover this with a lid. And I like to cook mine where it has a low boil. It takes a few hours for oxtails to be done. It could be up to three to four hours, depending on how big and how thick they are. But you just wanna cook whatever meat you're using until it's tender enough for you. So when I come back, we'll go on to the next step. It has been two and a half hours and my oxtail meat is done. And what I did was I took my oxtails out of the pot and took the meat off the bone, you all, and just returned the meat to the pot. It smells wonderful. We've been tasting this meat, honey. It just tastes so good. Most of the fat I took off of my oxtail, but you can do what you like. I'm just adding a little bit of cilantro into my pot. And we're going to go ahead and start putting our tacos together. Okay, my pan here. On a medium high heat, I'm gonna add some oil. You don't have to use oil if you do not like. The type of tortillas I'm using is corn, but you use what you like. And this is the ones I'm using, okay? So once our pan heats up, we'll go and move right on along. Now while your pan is heating up, take one of your corn tortillas and dip it in your red sauce, okay? And then you wanna go ahead and set it in your pan. And once you do that, I'm going to just grab you some cheese. I got some of my oxtail meat already sitting here. Just want to add that on. I'm going to add a little bit more of my cilantro, and then you just want to fold your corn tortilla over, get you a spatula. And really, honey, that is it. <laughs> I'm just gonna fry it for a few minutes on each side. Flip it over. And you're just gonna let them get brown, okay? And I'll show you all once this one is done. And once they're brown enough for you, you can go ahead and take them out. And you're welcome to make them as dark as you like. 
All right, you all, so here it is. Layla's going to try it for you all. She's been asking for this, so here it is. Okay, Layla. I'm going to sit it back down so you can grab it yourself. <laughs> and let us know what you think. It's pretty hot. <laughs> Very delicious. <laughs> you like it? Very good. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that's it. Pretty simple and easy. I'm going to finish making these uh, for the kids. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Hope you try it. It's really easy. You probably already tried it. <laughs> and I have, hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. <laughs>